Hi guys, it's Skill Jim from the Superpass team, and today I'm going to show you version 1.1 of Superpass. Superpass is a Shemu Passport fan made application which you can download over at superpass.com. If you've already downloaded and installed Superpass, you can simply update to version 1.1, uh, which shows you there at the bottom right what version number we're on. So this is version 1.1. So if you're an Android user, you can go to Google Play and update the app there. If you're an iOS user, you can go back onto Test Flight, you know, the app that you used to install Superpass originally, and there'll be a button to update there too. So the first thing you'll notice is the letter icon flashing from Nozomi. That means she's got a new message. A new message basically details all of the new features, updates, and fixes for version 1.1 of Superpass. So go read that at your own leisure. And let me start showing you some of the new features of 1.1. So... Under settings is the display units, and you can pick between imperial and metric. So depending on which measurement system you're more familiar with these days, you can select your option there. So imperial was the default, and metric is the new system. So if you're more familiar with metric, for example, if you go into the character profiles, press a character. Now the height and weight have changed to meters and kilograms, as opposed to inches, feet, and pounds. So pick between the two, whichever you're more comfortable um, with. The second cool feature we've added is a checklist system. So you see all these characters have got ticks by them. Basically what this feature does is it tries to replicate what the Passport used to do back in the, the Dreamcast days. So for example if you started a new game of Shenmue back on the Dreamcast every time that you met a new character in the game it was added to the passport disc in the character profiles. So if you met Ini san in the game, her profile would then be available on the, the passport disc. So we've tried to replicate that sort of system, but obviously there's a bit more of a, a manual feel to this. So um, if you use Superpass as a companion for your new playthrough of Shenmue in 2019, so say if you um, start a new game on the Dreamcast even, or on the PS4, PC, Xbox One, Open up Superpass, and as you're playing, every time you meet a new character, put a tick next to their, na their name, their profile, and you know that you've met them in the game. So, adds an extra little challenge, if you were, to try and track down all 337 characters in the world of Shenmue. And um, you can find the characters that you haven't met yet by pressing the question mark filter there at the bottom, the character question mark, and it'll show you all the characters that you haven't met in the game. And, then, and whenever you do meet that character in the game, you can find them here and put a tick next to them. And then if you press the filter again, it'll disappear. So let's say we've met all four of them, and we press the filter button, it'll filter them out. So now there's only 299 characters that you haven't met in the world of Shenmue. Um, if you don't want to use the, that particular feature in that way, another example that you could use this feature for is, say you wanted to read each character bio, from every single character on Superpass, and you want to continue from where you left off. So say, for example, you've read him, you've read him, you've read him, and you've had time to read Itoi-san as well, but then you had to go somewhere, and then you come back to Superpass app, and you want to continue reading profiles, you know, from where you left off. Press the filter button, they're gone, you'll find which characters you haven't read the profiles to yet. That's another use of this checking system. Um, so however you think you want to use that check system, whether it be to mark off particular characters or, you know, just anything you can think of, there's that new system for you there. The third new um, feature we've added is the search bar. So you press the search bar there, it'll pop up with the keyboard and you can enter in um, you know, a piece of text or, you know, whatever you can think of that might provide some search results. Let me just go back to everyone just to um, demonstrate this. So say, for example, you want to find Chenfoi, you want to see her profile, search, she's the only result, she pops up, you can read a profile there. If you want to try something different, let's try, um, let's try Nozomi here. Uh, Nozomi. Nozomi, then every character that has 
the word Nozomi in their bio will pop up here. So you can find some interesting links between characters by searching in this style. So obviously for Nozomi, if you wanted to find specifically Nozomi, you've typed Nozomi in, there's Nozomi. Also, like I say, anytime Nozomi's name pops up in someone's description, so obviously she pops up in Eri because close friends, but then there's some strange links that you might not be aware of, such as Hideki Tajima here. Uh, Nozomi is, uh, his result comes up in a Nozomi, a Nozomi search because he's got a line of uh, text here that says he often says he wishes Nozomi was his sister instead. So you might some, find some cool little links between characters by using the um, the search tool here. Another example, let's type in Chiyo. Brings up members of the Chiyo, um, the Chiyo men. So just a, a cool way of finding a specific character or a piece of, um, like a descriptive thi thing. So so say you, you wanted to use the, the checking off character system in the harbour. Let's type in harbour. Now it's showing pretty much all the characters that you can find in the harbour. So again, use that character chat mark filter. It's showing you characters in the harbour that you have yet to meet. That you, you, you've yet to meet should say. So if you're hunting down specific characters, you can combine the search and the filters to find whoever you're looking for. So that's a, a pretty cool feature there. Let's try homeless, see if the homeless man pops up. Homeless. Um, there you go. It's because I've already check marked him that he wasn't listed in the filter. So homeless, <laughs> the homeless man comes up. So if you're struggling to think of a specific character, try and think of a word that might help you find that character in Sukabas. Another new feature we've added in the music section is the extra playlist here, which is marked by new, so you'll be able to find it quite easy. And we've added a brand new song, Everlasting World. So this is one of my favorite songs in Shenmue. So this is the first song that we've added that's new. And uh, what we plan to do is in future updates, keep adding new songs to this playlist. So we're taking requests as well. If you um, if you know of a song that you want in Superpass that isn't listed here, let us know and we'll see if we can incorporate that into a future update. So those are all the new features of the 1.1 build. Other than that, we've added quite a few various fixes and improvements to the app. So one of those improvements, for example, is the actual feel of scrolling. So you can see it's a lot more one-to-one -to, -one to your finger and it's a lot, lot smoother. So for example, on the data review section here, where there's masses and massive of text, this is the example data review file. Um, you can scroll through this really, really quickly now. And even on older devices, this should feel a lot more smoother. So it's worth updating if, you know, the data review was really grinding down for you um, on the app. You might find it's a lot, lot smoother now. And some of you might not be aware, but further down in this list is a list of all of Rio's goals. So it's quite cool to see the actual titles that the developers gave to each part of Rio's quest throughout the story of Shenmue. And you can see how these, um, these quests were read into the game to provide additional, um, you know, cutscenes and for, for the game to know whereabouts Rio is in the story so far to, you know, start bringing in different free music, um, you know, cutscenes on specific days and times. They were all linked to Rio's current quest. And um, these are the actual titles that were given to each of Rio's quest throughout the game. It's quite cool to see that information uh, you would otherwise not be aware of. And that is basically 1.1 in a nutshell, guys. So hope you like the new features. We've got loads more features planned. Um, and the next update we're working on, we'll hopefully um, take one of these place placeholders <laughs> out. If you're wondering why these are a couple of question mark, question mark, question mark um, options on the menu there, we're gonna add something brand new to that soon. So stick with us guys. Uh, update to 1.1 if you haven't done already. Enjoy the app, let us know what you think, leave us some reviews on Google Play Store, you've left some amazing reviews, amazing five-star reviews, 
and we really, really appreciate that. We thank you so much for that. You can find a lot of those reviews um, and just nice comments, nice, nice uh, tweets, uh, any messages you've given us. We've tried to screenshot them and um, if you go onto the superpass.com website, there should be a button at the top that will be a page called testimonials and uh, we thought we'd make a nice little list of all the um, the nice nice messages there. So keep any any nice messages. And if you've got anything negative you want to say, you know, um, don't forget you can always um, you can always click about and press the feedback button there, and it'll open up your email thing there, and uh, you can start writing as a feedback message there, or you can leave us feedback on um, on superpass.com. Leave a comment anywhere you want or send us an email at superpassapp at gmail.com and um, we do strive to reply to every single person that leaves us a message or you know leaves us a bit of feedback or just anything at all guys. Just re we, we really appreciate it and uh, we thank you so much for a successful launch. Um, we were amazed by how many people download downloaded the app originally and um, yeah we can't thank you enough so Hope you're enjoying Superpass, and that's all from me for now. See you in the next update. Goodbye.